yeah good day guys welcome back to my channel it's your boy the graphic uh today i want to talk about the underused tools let me say it like that underused tools in pc lab i regarded it as a eraser tools when you look at the eraser tools is one of the tools that are very very important spectacular when it comes to pc lab if you know how to use it, you know how to use the Bezier tools, you know how to use draw tools, it means you can use the pixel app to design excellently. So, without wasting so much of our time, well, I want to teach you how you can use these tools professionally. And when you look at it, you won't be able, irrespective of pixel app you are using, you will not see that option being activated unless you import or you are working on a project in learning this i'm going to teach you six steps on how you can go about this erase option the first one i will teach you what we call an incisor adjustment teaching you about what we call the softness and hardness teaching you about the undo and redo option reset and apply the fourth option then zoom and pan then i will teach you about the erase mode option all these six steps we are going to look at it and that is what make the erase tools now to get it to make it activated no matter what you click on pixel app this option will not be activated unless you bring or you are working on a project because Erase tools, what is erase tools itself? Is to remove or erase part of the image, text, or any layer you added to your project. And to activate this, we let's say we bring something, we bring this particular layer, and after we bring this, how can we blend or make this thing work? So taking, for instance, I want to select a color. I want to select a very cool background. You can see right. Select this particular background. Then I will go to eraser. I mean to color. So after selecting color, I want to select something of this. Then go to this place. Just making the inside to be lighter while the outside will be deeper. Okay. So after that, I want to bring an object which I'm going to blend here to make it work. So let's say I went into my gallery, then looking at uh, my photo room, I have this particular object. You can see, I will bring it to this side. So if I want to blend this, let's say I want this to be here, I want to blend it. How am I going to do about it? You know, with this, after selecting it, option for eraser will be activated. After you activate it, this is eraser tools. And as I said, I'm going to teach you six steps. Like I said, the first step is the size enlargement. The size enlargement is this place. You can see, this is the size enlargement, sorry. This is a Sykes enlargement. This is what you see here. We call it a Sykes enlargement. Okay? Sykes enlargement. So now we have what we call OPC, uh, softness or hardness. This is it. Softness or hardness. That's it. And we're talking about the size. This one we allow you, sorry, we allow the size of your user. You can see the size there. We allow you to be big or small. So if I reduce it, you can see you are unable to even see it again. So I'm not talking about the uh, the soft or hardness. So if I make it like this, it will be hard. So if I make it like this, what will happen? That one will determine the hard, how hard or soft the edges of the eraser are. And this will create blur. So if I want to blur this particular background to blend it, I mean this uh, image to blend it, which is good for blending. I will just turn on this and when you look at this place let me just tap on it this place you can see it's blurry no a stick but let me re let me just bring it back so if i bring it back you can see the differences just look at this 
see the differences look at this place so if i increase it you can see i chose okay cool so now these are the two and now i'm talking about uh talking about the anger what we call our anger um it's my hand that is moving all around but i won't be able to see what my hand is erasing you can see i've erased everything and what i'm talking about undo or redo you make this one to be undo you can see right then the next thing is uh uh if i want anger so that my hand i will just increase this so when i increase it i have an anger you can see so my hand is not touching before i can be able to erase so after that we have what we call a reset so that one is when you buy to piece of you can reset it if i want to zoom out you tap here we we'll call it zoom and pan which is the what which is the fifth option fifth step you can see it so you can zoom out so when you zoom out you'll be able to see and you already turn on your hunger so you can see you turn on your hunger you can be able to erase erase whatever you want erase it you can see which is very good you can see it right you can go back and you on redo everything so after that we have what we call an erase mode erase mode is what we have here this is the erase mode so once you are working here you see automatically it will be on erase mode so now i want to blot this particular down so i repeat i said the six step talking about the size enlargement this is it the softness or hardness this is it can allow you to make uh what you are editing what you are erasing to be blurry i'm talking about the undo and redo this is it it won't be activated unless you do something that you want to read undo reset or apply you can use it as well zoom this is what we have here you can zoom out pan here erase mode this is what we have here and the hanger is the one that we have at the bottom and we have another one which i have not mentioned and that is cutter we call this a cutting tool I call it a cutting tool divided into three. So let me show you. So when you tap on it, this is it. It divided into three. We have what we call it circle. We have a circle cutter. We have a triangle, I mean rectangle cutter, and we have over cutter. So let's take it one after the other. So let's say I select this, which is a circle cutter. So let's let me show you how it work. So I will select this, it will bring me a circle. I will zoom it like this and position it here so let's say i want to put something here our position so now i've taught you i'll show you this as i said i said divide into three we have the circle we have the triangle we have the over then we have another two tools beside it we have what we call in cutting and we have what we call out cutting this first one is what we call in cutting this outside one is what we call out cutting. What do I mean by in cutting and out cutting? You know, you already press it. You want it to circle, to cut out uh, the area where you want to erase in circle. You understand? So what do you need to do? When you tap this, the in cutter, it will cut out the middle. Let me show you how it will work. Here you can see. So we cut out the chest. The background is what is showing here. You can see. You can see. So if I change the color, you can see if i change the color of this or i hide this so you can see we've cut out the inner i mean the inner so now let's go back to it and i will be back so let me undo so after undo i select the same circle this time around so I'll, let me say triangle this time around then i will bring it directly to the chest then click outer outer means when you click in area where this particular layer cover will be cut out when, when you click outer area where this particular layer is not covered will be cut out let me tap on it then you can see what you can see is only this you might be looking what is this essence of this one we normally use this to cover the part area so let me show you how this thing work so let's say i back to the piece lab uh the tools then after i'm there the next thing i want to do is that i will just put this one here then i will copy after copy then i will go back to my race tools then i will click on the triangle then i will cut out some pets here so which you can see i will move this one down then what am i cutting cutting the middle sorry cutting the middle 
so this is it so i can use this one leverages on this to make it okay okay how am i going to do that i will just increase the size you can see just use it to blend anything patch anything i want to patch so it depends and i can use it for another thing so i can't even come in here or bring it as a circle so when you have this but this will not understand it why and you can do the same thing you can do it what you did in the race color you can crop that you can crop the chest you might be thinking that why am i going on necessary choice see the differences this will be bigger and will be blurry because it will be pixelated compared to what compared to the one you did using your pixel because this match the same color you can see it so that is that what we can do with our erase color what another thing we can do i said i want to blur the background you see i want to blur the lower part so i will reduce so i'm using one of the tools which i will explain which is the background tool so what am i going to do click on the erase mode it's not on erase mode like this on cutting mode this is on erase mode and it's still on the zoom and pan i will tap on the pan i will increase the anger i will increase the size i will now increase the blurriness i will tap here so once i tap here i will bring this one to the middle bring it now i'm having this so when you look at it it's what let me show you the differences reduce this this one is what trying to be blend with the background so let's go in there and let me click on this one to undo so look at the differences you can see this the edges is not smooth why the edges is smooth here the edges is not smooth at the what at the left why the edges is smooth here you understand that's one of the things that we normally use to do so another thing let's do a live project okay let me show you a live project a live project so take it for instance i want to let me bring any of my design to go into the pc lab i want to show you how you can do something So let's say something i i like something which i want to use how can i use it okay fine look at this my design you see i want to use this you understand i want to use it how can i make use of this using the erase color let's say there is no any other option i want to erase some parts here there are different way of erasing some parts. You understand? I want to place another thing. So what do I need to do? Apart from uh, what I've said, you come to erase color. So what am I erasing? How am I going to erase it? When you erase automatically, it will erase together with the backgrounds. Why can you erase whatever? Like what I normally do, I will just erase all these remaining it will just remain the background i'll bring it here reduce the size so if sometime the erase color i mean the the uh a remover a erase color is not actually working so i normally do that so and if it is you have many color that is removing i will just use it to remove one part while i use the eraser to do the other part but this is not what i want to show you so let's go in there other things you can use the race tools to to do before we go to color so let's say i have a logo let's say i have a logo let's say i have a logo i tap letter a and i go into the font So go to font size and you select the world best logo so we have world best logo then the world best logo font which i'm talking about it means when you have it you type any alphabet it will give you a logo you understand so let's say i go with the letter b so letter b which give me a nescape logo 
so now what how can i do what can i do to give this different color so and i want to do a sharp sharp so what am i going to do i will just go to erase color sharp so let me check whether the erase color will be activated it's not activated because this is just an alphabet this is alphabet okay so what am i going to need what am how do i activate the erase color so i will just hide this after duplicating then match the two together position it here then i will go into the eraser so when i go to eraser you can see it so i will tap on the cutter click on the triangle so i will stretch it very well stretch it to this part then move it to this position then i will cut out the inner then i will go in there you can see you don't see the inner again what do i need to do i will copy so after you copy you go back to eraser then you what you are going to enable everything now go to the cutter again click on the triangle select it it's like you are repeating the previous process after placing you are not cutting the inner you are cutting the outer part then you have it separate you can see so now this one why am i doing that it will allow you to give it different color okay that's what we are going to do so now let me show you something another thing i want to give it three different color Did you understand or two different color so now let's say i've already give this one different color so let's say blue color so give this one a blue color so we have it here then i will delete other so let me select white background for this then erase this so now the second one i want to give it so let's say something of red or black or we give it something of light like this okay perfect so now i want to give this different color so i will go into the eraser so enable the eraser i will zoom it out very well then erase by clicking on what here then i will look at it you have it what about that dot i don't see it anymore so i will tap here then i will just enable it to come back so what do i need to do i will click on the cutter i will cut out everything that is here just move this one towards here move it then cut it out then you have this again so what do you need to do to see the whole stuff back you can copy the old here when you copy go to eraser then you click on back you'll be able to have the full part so when you have your full part you are going to change the color to what just change the color to red use the uh, relative position then you can now trace this by bringing this to the front play position this first so tap on this bring it to the front position it here as well then you tap on this one you position it here then when you see that you can now reduce you can remove the whole stuff okay this is it then you have your things in three different places so now that you have in three different places you can now determine which kind of a color you want to use to everything and this is just a tips on how you can go with erase color stay tuned on how I'm going to show you step by step on how to you can use what we call the draw tools, which is more complex than this. Thanks for watching. God bless you.